This is grade five, module three, lesson four. And the objective in this lesson is to add fractions with sums between one and two. Now in this lesson, there are some problems that the fractions add up to less than one. So I just wanted to be aware of that, but um, the overall objective is that the students will be able to add the fractions. Um, so the sum is between one and two. So we're going to take a look at our first problem, which is from the homework, and it is number one, letter C. And we want the students to think about this problem first. So we have one-third, and I know that one-third, in their head they're thinking, well, one-third is less than one-half. And I know that three-fifths is less than one. So my answer, the, the sum, is going to be less than one and a half. Okay? So this is just so they have an idea in their head of what, what a reasonable answer will be. So um, now we're going to go ahead and solve the problem. And we're going to use the rectangular fraction model, and we've done that in some previous lessons. So the students should be familiar, familiar with that. So let me go ahead and get that set up for you. So we're going to section off this first rectangle into thirds and I'm going to shade in one third of that and then in the next rectangle I'm going to section this off into fifths Let's see if I can and I'm going to shade in three fifths of this one so the students need to find um, a common denominator. And in the previous lessons, we drew um, some more rectangular fraction models to do this. But on this lesson, we're going to go ahead and do this right on the same one. So um, I'm going to look at my first rectangle. And now I'm going to section it off into fifths. So they will have the same amount of sections in each one. And the second one, I'm just going to do three rows, okay? So now that we have the same amount of sections in each, uh, each one of my um, rectangular fractions. So I am going to just add up the pieces in each one. And I can just, while I'm counting them, you can do it this way. Five. And I have an answer of 14. And my denominator is how many pieces there are in all. And the denominator is 15, so the answer for C, the sum of one-third plus three-fifths, is 14 fifteenths. Now we're going to take a look at another problem, and it's number three from the homework, and it says, Mr. Sanofsky used five-eighths of a tank of gas on a trip to visit relatives for the weekend and another one-half of a tank commuting to work the next week. He then took another weekend trip and used one-fourth tank of gas. How many tanks of gas did Mr. Sanofsky use altogether? So uh, we want the students, of course, to uh, think about what a reasonable answer would be. So let me just um, underline the fractions here. And let's talk about what's happening in the story. So Mr. Sanofsky, he uses uh, 5 eighths of a tank of gas on a trip to visit relatives. And then he uh, uses another half a tank of gas commuting to work. And then he takes another weekend trip and he uses one-fourth of a tank of gas. So what I would like to do is I, I always like to compare this to one-half or to the whole number one. So um, I know that five-eighths is greater than one-half because four-eighths would be one-half. One-half is equal to one-half. And one-fourth is less than one-half. So knowing all this, I'm looking at my answers here. I also know that my 5 eighths is, I'm going to just do it a little racer here. I also know that my 5 eighths is less than the whole number 1. So now I'm looking and I'm adding up this side here very easily in my head. So I should have an answer that is less than 2. So my overall answer should be less than 2. So my, um, how many tanks? of gas and Mr. Sanofsky use altogether should be less than two. So now let's go ahead and get our target sentence ready. 
So the target sentence says, Mr. Sunofsky uses blank tanks of gas. I'm going to use um, the models here above, and I'm going to just draw out what 5 eighths would be, and I'm going to be adding 1 half. I'm going to do this in uh, this whole problem in two steps. So this is my first step. I have 5 eighths plus 1 half. So let's get my model ready. And my first rectangular fraction model, I'm going to color in. Oh, I only have 5 eighths. Let me make that into 8. And we're going to imagine that these are all equal. So let's color in five of them. Okay, and we have one half, and we're going to just color in half of that. So we're finding, um, we want to make these two have the equal number of sections. So we're doing what we've done in the previous lessons. Now each one of the models has the same number of sections, and we can rewrite our fraction 5 eighths and 1 half now. And each one of these has 16 sections, so the denominator for both of the fractions is 16. So now we have a problem that's 10 sixteenths plus 8 sixteenths, and if I add all those pieces together, I have 18 sixteenths. And that is also equal to 16 over 16 plus 2 sixteenths. And I can reduce that to 1 and uh, to simplify that to 1 and 1 eighth. Okay. So now we have the answer of 1 and 1 eighth, and we're going to be adding um, the fourth of a tank of gas that he used on his weekend trip. So we, let's go ahead and set that one up. So I wrote my original answer from 5 eighths plus 1 half over here, and it's 1 and 1 eighth. Um, I'm only going to use 1 eighth for the problem plus 1 fourth. Um, I'm just going to remember, no, leave the 1 over here, just remember that I have to add 1. I already have one tank of gas that he's, he used. So I'm adding 1 eighth plus 1 fourth, and there's something special about these fractions. So normally I would section off my rectangular, um, my rectangle here into eighths and then um, fourths and then do the opposite for each one. So um, I do know that um, I can find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of eight for one fourth. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to section this off into my my fourths and I'm going to color in one of those sections, and I'm going to make that into eighths. So I could draw the same diagram on this side. I can section, make eight sections in this rectangle here and shade in one eighths. So that way I'm still, um, I'm utilizing eighths as my denominator and that's easier to work with than um, 30 seconds. So now my my fraction down here is not one fourth anymore. It's the equivalent fraction of two eighths. So I have one eighth plus two eighths, which is equal to three eighths. Now, don't forget, I do have my one tank of gas um, from before, so I have to add the one plus three eighths. And when I do that, I have one and three eighths as my answer. So there may be students who, um, when using the this fraction model here, who divide this uh, rectangle up into 32 pieces. You can uh, pause before they do that, and hopefully they'll see the relationship between 1 eighth and 1 fourth, and what they know about equivalent fractions, so they won't have to work with 32 sections. They can just work with a denominator of 8. So my target sentence will read, Mr. Sanofsky uses 1 and 3 eighths tanks of gas.